What's up guys? Sorry for the absence. I'm, this past week has been super annoying. Uh, since two Fridays ago, I have not been able to get anything done with Tactical Toolbox and it's been driving me insane because I just want to create videos for you guys. But uh, today we're going to be doing the EDC update. Uh, everybody's been saying, hey, when are you going to do an EDC update? When are you going to do an EDC update? When are you going to tell us what all you carry besides just the guns? Well, today's the day. So stick around for that. Seriously, the last week and a half, it wasn't even until like this Tuesday today that I've been able to actually get started again on doing videos and stuff. It has been a, the most annoying week ever. So anyways, guys, with that being said, uh, congratulations to Ricotta for winning the Glock 17 S3F Solutions Barrel. Uh, we did that giveaway back in February for our YouTube subscribers. Now we're giving away the... Uh, S3F Solutions Titanium Nitride uh, Glock 19 barrel. And this one's gonna be going to the uh, Patreon supporters. If you don't know what that is, I'll put a link in the description where you can become a Patreon supporter. What it does is it helps me do free reviews for companies who can't afford to either, you know, get products out for a review or they can't afford to pay for advertising, just to help spread the word. Uh, good news, we're shooting in 4K today, guys. I just got a new camera for my birthday. Let me know how it looks if, you know, still learning how to use it. Another cool thing, this is a Norso slide. Check it out. This is a Norso slide. 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 Pretty cool stuff coming up. These aren't mine to keep or give away. Uh, these are just for test and evaluation for Norso CNC. So thank you, Tim, for sending those out. Let's get into the video, guys, and talk about what's in my everyday carry. This is what's in my everyday carry arsenal. Now, I don't carry all of these things at the same exact time, obviously, but what I do is I interchange a lot of things. Let's start out with the simple stuff. Right here, I got the wallet from Hank's belt. This, I don't prefer front pocket carry on wallets. I actually prefer standard leather bifold wallets. Love it, can't beat it. Got this from Hank's Belts a while back to do a review on it. And I absolutely love it. It, it is worn in very nicely and there's no issues with this at all. It is just beautiful. So I love this wallet. I'll put affiliate links to everything guys in the description below and thank you for all your support um, with everything. And what we're gonna do, is if I could find some coupon codes for you, I'm gonna throw those in the description below as well. But yeah, functional wallet, not much to see there. There'll be a link. They got these in black as well as this brown color. So the J5 Tactical EDC Lite, I picked this bad boy up for about $15. It is solid. It's about 300 lumens or so. Let me blind you guys. Wong. I think the lens is doing a good job here. All right. So anywho, pretty awesome. Puts out a nice beam. Uh, it's hard to see in this light, but uh, been a great light. Um, I've seen re other reviews on these where they've done water torture test and drop test, and they seem to be pretty. They run off your standard double A's. I got these cool TACOM batteries. Uh, they're 1.5 volts. These things are awesome because what I've really noticed is that um, when they start losing power, you don't lose lumens. Uh, I think they just go until they die and then that's it. So that's been great. Not much the whole say about this. You know, you got your like, you know, it's got the adjustable beam so you can slide in and out. Um, it's not too loose and it's not too tight. It's got the nice striker on the end of it here, which serves to be pretty nice. So I like that a lot. Like this light, it works. I carry it pretty much everywhere I go. It looks bigger than it really is. Uh, here you go. There's a comparison for you. Fits in the hand really nicely. But for some reason, when you look at these online, they just look ginormous. Moving on. I picked up this really cool PVD Zippo lighter from Walmart the other day, actually. Uh, they never have them in stock when I'm there. And I can't figure out why, but they just never do. But yep, pick this bad boy up. It's a pretty nice little lighter. Um, I like the, the black matte finish on it. I'll put a link where you can pick these up in case your Walmart doesn't sell them. Same exact price, just uh, free shipping and all that. And uh, 
But yeah, I, I, you know, a lot of people talk about carrying fire. I don't smoke. I used to, but, um, I never really carried lighters. And then I always found myself needing a lighter. So I went and picked up the Zippo. It's been pretty good. Um, you know, I have no issues. I mean, Zippos are Zippos, but I, I just like the finish on it. So that's the most recent update. Now, when it comes to knives, I, I have two knives, but the other one I can't find right now. This one is probably my favorite. Now, this one is the... Kershaw CQC 7K. And what that means is it has the Emerson Wave feature on it right here. And what that does is it'll catch your pocket as you're pulling it out and deploy the blade. It's not spring assisted or anything, but it, it does work out pretty nicely. It's not a bad blade still, but it's not the greatest. It's super easy to sharpen, but it will kind of dull quickly on you. But these things are less than $30. I mean, you can't buy an Emerson for, you know, less for less than a hundred dollars. I mean, but this thing has been the best freaking pocket knife that I own. This thing has been my favorite. I add a little paracord lanyard to it to help me when I'm deploying it. Beautiful pocket clip. It is reversible. So you could do uh, however you want to do it. You, you, it is a tip up only design just because of the nature of how it deploys with the wave function. Uh, got the nice little thumb stud, flicks out really nicely. It takes a little bit to, uh, you know, break these things in, obviously, but a little gun oil and stuff, and it flicks out very nice. I like the Tonto blade as well. There's a million others that are made by Kershaw with their uh, Emerson series. So if you don't like Tonto blades, they got drop point blades, they got semi serrated blades. Put a link in the description where you guys could check these out. But the one thing I like about this over any other blade, is the fact that it has Phillips screws. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I love the fact that it doesn't have the hex bits because it is nice to be able to take this apart. Also on the blade tensioning, flat head. Beautiful, beautiful work. I am very, very satisfied with this. So thank you, Kershaw, for doing this. The one thing I like about this over the original Emerson is that this side is slippery. Because this side's G10. Well, when the G10 meets your pocket clip and your pocket, it'll tear your pocket up. Not so much with this one. So kudos to them on that. They're less than 30 bucks. I highly recommend picking one of these up if you haven't. As far as watches are concerned, I like to keep things budget and... I keep things budget oriented, but at the same time, I like to keep them purpose built. I don't like carrying unnecessary things. I don't like pocket bulk. This is the Casio Tough Solar. Now this is not a G-Shock. It has the G-Shock like form factor, but what it is, is a solar powered tough watch that costs less than $40. Been an awesome watch. This was actually my, one of my first EDC, what I would consider an EDC watch before I ever even started Tactical Toolbox. So this thing's held up for over a year. It never needs batteries. It has alarms on it. It has, the time is set by time zones. So you don't gotta worry about setting the time. If it goes dead on you, just expose it to some light and it'll automatically reset it to the appropriate time. This is my main go-to watch when I'm out at the range and stuff like that. Now my other watch, on the other hand, is a little bit nicer. This is the Orient Mako XL. And I wanted this watch for quite a while. I'm a big fan of the Rolex Submariner uh, style watches. However, they're $6,000. And even if I had $6,000 to invest in a watch, I just don't know if I would. Like it's easy to say, oh yeah, I would love to get one of those watches if I had six grand. But when you actually work your balls off to get six grand, I don't know if you're gonna do it. But what's great about it, automatic movement, has a 40 hour power reserve. So what that means is it's wound by the movement of your wrist. So you could just shake it sometimes and that's what winds it. It has a day and a date function, which you can't really see here because of the, uh, the minute hand is in the way. Shows your day and your date, has the rotating bezel here, beautiful clicks, audible and tactile. So I, I really dig this watch. Now this watch, doesn't come with this strap. This was a NATO strap that I bought. And let me show you the strap that it comes with. 
The strap it comes with is this beautiful oyster bracelet right here. Now I actually do like this, but I scratch it up a lot. So I went to NATO straps. I got about three or four of them, but they're only like 10 to $20 and they just slide like right through your pins right here. So love this watch. Um, when I picked this up, I picked this up last year for Father's Day. I think it was around the $200 mark. I got it on eBay. I think it was like less than 200, but the moment after I bought it, I haven't seen one for that price since last Father's Day. So I don't, it wasn't even on sale. That was like the going rate. I had been eyeing this thing for months. Now they're upwards to two to $300. It has a Japanese uh, movement in it, which is rivals the Swiss movement. So once the word caught on about these watches, the Orient watches and the Seiko SKXs and stuff like that, the prices just went up because of supply and demand. But I'll put a link in the description where you can pick these guys up, but definitely check this out. They got different colors. They got the black dial. They got the royal blue dial. They got an orange dial with a black ring or a black dial with an orange ring. They got all kinds of different colors um, to fit your style. But this thing has just been a blessing and it's held up very well. There's been days I've gone to the range and forgot to uh, take it off and it has zero scratches on the glass. Let me polish that up for you. So let's get it up here. See, the glass is beautiful and I've banged it on things. Not hard, but I've scuffed it on surfaces here and there. And uh, it has done a very, very good job at holding up. All right, guys, let's get to the fun stuff. Let's get all this out of the way. So that's my watches. Like I said, nothing real fancy. I, I keep my daily carry kind of compact and as lightweight as possible. All right, so here we have the Glock 19. Here we have the Glock 26. Boom. I'm gonna go into detail a little bit about what I'm carrying and why I'm carrying it and so on and so forth. So first off, let's do a safety check. Boom, pinky. All right. First off, this is my Glock 19. I'm sure you guys have seen the review on it. I'm not gonna go over it uh, in detail, but I'm running the Blacklist Industries Glock 19 titanium nitride threaded barrel on it because I do wanna get into testing suppressors and compensators in the very near future. Uh, I got it stippled. I'm running the Trigicon, I'm sorry, the Ameriglow suppressor height sights with the orange front which everybody's been hitting me up about this. So I'll put a link in the description for these sites because they're like a hundred bucks. Um, I took the Vortex Viper off because I'm wanting to practice more with my irons. Right now, what do I got on that? So I got the tungsten guide rod right here. Beautiful guide rod, works very well. Got the tungsten guide rod. I'm running right now the Overwatch Precision Trigger. I literally just got this trigger like last week. And I haven't even been to the range to test it yet, which is why I haven't been carrying it this week. But dry firing it feels amazing. So look out for that. But this trigger is something special. So if it's something you've been trying to lean towards, you might want to pick one of these guys up because they're pretty sweet. Next up, inside the gun. Right now I got the Zev plunger. I got the Zev safety plunger. I got the Zev V4 race connector, and I've got the Zev six pound trigger spring and the Zev three pound striker spring, which doesn't really lighten the striker. It actually just kind of smooths it out a little bit. So it's actually an OEM uh, poundage for the striker spring. So I've never had a light primer strike. Been running these springs for over, what, well, about a year now. Actually, I bought the Zevtech trigger last March or last April and ran it every day since. No issues whatsoever. Got the Agency Arms Magwell on here. That's been doing really well. I love it. It actually works out really well. Keeping my hand out of the way when I'm wanting to do a reload keeps my finger from getting in the way and it has a little shoot to help out. If you haven't seen that review, put a link in the description for you. So that's the Glock 19 running an OEM mag and I'm running the fog ammo 
147 grain hollow points on here. These guys actually use the Hornady, the Hornady bullets, and these things have ran really great. Running an OEM mag. My backup mag is a standard OEM mag, but with the uh, Barracuda Tactical plus four for the Glock 19 base pad. I'll put a coupon code in the description below. I forgot what it is off the top of my head, but you can get, I think, $10 off or something like that with these guys. So use that code if you wanna pick these up. These things are awesome. Um, if you haven't seen the review on them, I'll link that in the description below as well. Moving along, guys. Running the Redline Concealment Holsters. Uh, which one? DCR 2.0. This was the very first product that I ever received for free to review on the channel. And it's held up like a champ. I mean, it was last May, I believe they sent this to me. And we're going on April, no issues. Beautiful, love it, can't go wrong. Now, when I wanna carry my Glock 26, I throw it into the TAC Lab uh, multi-threat response rig right here. This one is very similar to the uh, Redline concealment holsters, um, but it's just a different company. And they're good people. I enjoy this holster as well. Same thing, OEM Glock 19 mag is my backup. But then, let's see, clear. All right, all right, for the mag, OEM mag, but same thing, got the Barracuda Tactical Glock 26 plus four mag extension. This gives me 14 plus one rounds in a Glock 26 without adding very much bulk. So I love that. On the sights, I'm running Trijicon HDs. Hands down, my favorite sights of all time. I'm actually considering getting another set to put on here for when I'm not running the red dot because these things are just the, the dead nuts accurate. I mean, these things improve my accuracy so much more than anything else that I've ever done to my gun more than triggers, more than grips, everything. Running the OEM barrel, just because it's really hard to find a really cool match grade Glock 26 barrel right now. But internals are all stock, except for I'm running the Apex Tactical Brown Nose Exclusive trigger. Love this trigger. It is, I mean, right now, I, gotta, I ain't gonna lie, guys. Everybody's been asking me, What's your favorite trigger, the Innovative Gunfighter Solutions or the Apex? Right now, guys, I hate to say this, but the Apex. Mainly because the performance of it is right there equal to the uh, Innovative Gunfighter Solutions trigger, except what makes it a little bit different is that it's 100 bucks. You know what I mean? And now Apex just released their full kit that comes with the Apex plunger and trigger connector. So I'm trying to get one of those in for review so you guys can check that out. But that is my Glock 26. Obviously it's been stippled and customized. If you guys haven't seen that review, be in the description below. Now when I wanna carry, and I don't wanna carry like a, a rig, I use this. This is the Ambi holster from Redline. So this is a great holster. And the reason I love this holster is it's essentially a DCR 2.0 without the mag caddy. So I get that beautiful deep concealment. It comes with the wing. The only reason I got this Raven clip on there right now is I think I was taking off the other clip and I lost it. So I had this backup clip, but the, uh, the Ambi, the clip that comes with it is beautiful, works great. But this is what I run when I don't feel like carrying anything that is uh, too bulky, or maybe I'm wearing sweatpants. I just throw this bad boy on. Absolutely love it. So there you have it, folks. That is my EDC. Everything that I carry, I just said, like I said, guys, I keep it lightweight as possible. I don't carry anything that I don't need. And I just try to keep it simple. You know, I don't worry about freaking pry bars on my keys. Oh yeah, also almost forgot. Got the Galaxy S7 here. I'm actually monitoring the camera right now with the Galaxy S7. 
that's my phone. Probably gonna upgrade to the S8 here pretty soon or an iPhone, I haven't decided yet. So let's jump up top real quick and I got um, some surprises for you. And we're back everybody. So yeah guys, that's my EDC update. I know it was kind of long and boring, but hey, you guys have been asking me, blowing out my email. Figured I'd deliver for you guys. Um, thank you guys for everything. Uh, if you haven't entered the giveaway to win the S3F Solutions, like I said earlier, go enter that. What else? Make sure you stay tuned for the Overwatch Precision uh, TAC Trigger review coming up. You're going to like it because there is something about this trigger that no other trigger has and does nothing to do with the trigger shoe. So that is interesting. I love it when a company does something different. A couple quick updates. We got the still waiting on the Polymer 80 frame to come in. Uh, they told me it was going to be the end of March, early April. I've got everything else I need. Um, L2D Combat's actually going to be sending us out some stuff for that build to do as well. And uh, as soon as I get the frame, we'll get that build going. Um, still waiting to hear from 1911 builders. Uh, they asked me for my address like over a month ago and said they were going to be sending us a kit to do the build. Haven't heard anything. Got a Glock compatible AR9 pistol build series coming for you guys. So stay tuned for that. I'm not going to tell you the name of the company because there might be two companies doing it with us. So that's awesome. So anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for everything. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe. Thank you for everything, guys. The social media has been blowing up. The Patreon page, guys, we're almost 250 supporters on the Patreon page. We're almost halfway there. So once we get to 250 supporters, we're giving away this titanium nitride Glock 19 barrel. So if you haven't signed up, go over to the Patreon page, become a Patreon supporter, and you'll be automatically entered for this giveaway as well as many others, guys. So until next time, you guys stay sexy, and I'll see you then.